Now, is this the best Halloran Cassid Serum that I have ever tried? Probably yes. At least the best one I've tried so far. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm finally reviewing La Roche Posay Hyalu B5. Hyalu. The name is weird. Okay, it's a hyaluronic acid serum with B5. And it's called Hyalu Hi Hyalu B5. That's how it's called. Now this is a serum that has been on the market for a while now and I'm just now reviewing it. I'm kind of late to the game, but I actually wanted to review it a, a long time ago and now I am glad that I didn't because my editing skills at the time were awful. So that would have been an awful review. <laughs> so I'm actually very glad that I didn't review it earlier. So as always, I'm going to go through ingredients, claims, who can use the product, how to use the product. I'm going to also show you how I use it and at the end I'm going to give you my final verdict on this serum. So let's start with ingredients. Okay, so these are the important active ingredients that La roche is emphasizing on their website. So first we have two types of hyaluronic acid, the low molecular and high molecular. This is great. I already have reviewed some hyaluronic acid serums and I always mention that it is important to get a serum with high and low molecular hyaluronic acid because high molecular hyaluronic acid is just going to sit on the outermost layers of your skin and going to hydrate the skin. And low molecular hyaluronic acid actually has a higher chance of penetrating deeper into your skin and actually reducing wrinkles. So yeah, that's great. So it's great that this product has two types of hyaluronic acid. Then we have vitamin B5 or another name for vitamin B5 is Pantanol. Now this is a moisturizer and humectant, a great ingredient to have in your serum. Yeah, there's another serum that has a, also a vitamin B5 is the ordinary one. I do have a review on it, you can check it out right here. And I'm actually thinking about comparing that one to this one because they do have similar ingredients and similar claims and the prices are not that similar. So let me know if you would like to see that. Think it would be a fun video to make. And then we have this ingredient whose name I cannot pronounce. I'm going to just put it right here. I cannot pronounce this, sorry. This is an ingredient that has anti-inflammatory properties. It also stimulates the collagen production and it's good for acne prone skin. So this is a great ingredient, great anti-aging ingredient to have in your serum. I haven't used any products that had this ingredient so far. So this one is new for me. Now these three ingredients are the ones that La roche is emphasizing on their website, but there are a couple of more ingredients that the I would like to emphasize as well. First we have glycerin. Glycerin is a great humectant. It binds water. Then there's vitamin E that is an excellent antioxidant and it's going to fight the free radicals. And then a really interesting product that caught my attention was dimeticone. Dimeticone is a silicone that creates a protective barrier on the skin or in other words it's, it's an occlusive. Now what is common for hyaluronic acid serums is that they usually don't have any occlusives. When you get a hyaluronic acid serum you only have water, solvents, hyaluronic acid, a couple more humectants, and that's it. They're just hydrating the skin. And usually you have to apply an occlusive moisturizer on top to lock all that moisture in, otherwise it's going to evaporate. Now, this one has dimeticone. So that means that this one already has an occlusive in there. So yeah, in theory, this product can be used on its own. But of course, I do not recommend that you use it that way. I don't use it that way. So don't get me wrong. I'm not recommending that you use it on its own. I'm just saying that because it does have the methicone, in theory, it could be used on its own. The methicone can fill in the fine lines. So if you see any immediate results from using this uh, serum, it's probably the methicone just filling in your fine lines. That's one thing that you need to keep in mind. If you see any, any immediate results, it's probably the methicone. Now I do have two controversial ingredients that I have to mention here. Now, first one is alcohol. It's listed pretty high up. It's in the third place. Now I do not mind alcohol in my products. I actually think that I prefer products with alcohol, especially serums, because alcohol is a solvent, but it's also a penetration enhancer. Now that means that alcohol is going to help the active ingredients penetrate deeper into your skin. So I find that serums that do have alcohol give me a better effect than the serums that do not have alcohol in the ingredients list. So I actually love the fact that this serum has alcohol and the effect is amazing. But yeah, I just wanted to mention because I know that a lot of people have strong feelings towards 
towards alcohol. I don't, so I'm just saying, yeah, it does have alcohol in the third place. It does not influence the effect on the skin. It's not drying on the skin and I actually don't mind it and I somewhat prefer <laughs> having alcohol in my serums. So in case you really hate alcohol in your products, be warned. And the last controversial ingredient that I have to mention is fragrance. Yes, this does have fragrance, but it's listed last, so we can maybe call it lightly fragranced. And guess what? I did have problems when I used the L'Oreal Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Remember this review right here? That one was heavily fragranced and it burned my skin because at the time I was using retinaldehyde at the same time. This retinaldehyde, by the way. So retinaldehyde is a vitamin A derivative that increases your skin's sensitivity. I'm usually not sensitive to fragrance in my products, but when I started using retinaldehyde, it, I suddenly became sensitive to fragrance in my product. So, so when I first saw that this serum was fragranced, I was like, no, let us 30 bucks for a fragrance serum. No way. You have to do better than that. Yeah. I was kind of, I was kind of skeptical and I, I thought it would burn my skin and you know, 30 bucks for a serum isn't exactly cheap for me at least. So I was like, no, 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 no way. No way that this this has fragrance in it, but it didn't burn my skin. And I did try this one out at the time that when I was using the retinaldehyde serum. So my skin was sensitive and I was reacting to other products that had fragrance. And guess what? I didn't react to this one. It wasn't burning. I could sense the fragrance, but nope, it wasn't burning my skin. So I guess it is lightly fragranced and I guess it will depend on how sensitive you are. I cannot tell you if you will have a reaction or not, just uh, in case you have really, really sensitive skin and you react to any amount of fragrance in your products, then maybe avoid this one. And if not, if you can handle a little bit of fragrance in your products, then you can try out this one. So yeah, for me, the fragrance was not a deal breaker, thank God, but yeah, I have to mention it for you guys, so be warned. Okay, now let's go Go through the claims. La Roche says that this can reduce fine lines and wrinkles. It also restores elasticity and gives an overall fresh look to the skin. Now, can it do that based on the ingredients? Yes, based on the ingredients, it can do that. Low molecular hyaluronic acid can you reduce your wrinkles. Dimethicone can fill in your fine lines. And that ingredient that I cannot pronounce also stimulates the collagen production. So yes, this serum is anti-aging and can do all of that. So yeah, based on the ingredients, we can say that claims are true. Okay, now who can use this serum? Well, pretty much everyone can use this serum, even the acne prone skin, because there is nothing comedogenic in this serum. So yeah, pretty much everyone can use this serum, but I have to emphasize that because it is lightly fragranced, it does have fragrance listed last. I don't know how sensitive to fragrance you are. If you are highly sensitive to fragrance in your products, then maybe you can avoid it. If not, if you can handle a little bit of fragrance in your products, then you can use this product for sure. And one more thing, there is this thing called sensitivity to hyaluronic acid that is very rare. Not a lot of people are sensitive to hyaluronic acid, but I have to mention that as well. If you're not sure, you can do a patch test before using this serum just to be sure. But yeah, this is not a very common issue. Yeah, sensitivity to hyaluronic acid is not a very common issue. Overall, hyaluronic acid is well tolerated. So yeah, I'm just emphasizing all of the possible things that can happen because I'm very responsible here on my channel. <laughs> so yeah, anyone can use it except people who are highly sensitive to fragranced products or hyaluronic acid. Okay, now let's see how to use this product. Well, I pretty much already explained in this video right here how to use hyaluronic acid. Actually, it's called how not to use hyaluronic acid. So see, see what I did there? <laughs> So yeah, you can watch that video for more clarification on hyaluronic acid, how it acts and how it should be used. And it goes the same for the serum. I like using it on wet face because hyaluronic acid binds water and you want to bind as much water as you can. Then I follow it with an occlusive moisturizer right away on top to lock all that moisture in and prevent it from evaporating into the air. But wait, here, I will show you how I use this serum. And without further ado, let's see how this serum acts on the skin. Okay, so as always, I first start off with cleansing my skin and I'm actually still using this Avan Cold Cream Scented Bar. I do have a review on it if you want to check it out. And here I realized that I made a mess of my t-shirt. So yeah, sorry about that. But anyways, yeah, I leave my face wet and I apply the serum directly. And as I said already, it does have fragrance. Yeah, I can sense it. Definitely, you can sense the fragrance. But as I said already, it didn't burn my skin. So 
yeah, I take a few drops and I apply it to the wet face. And after that, I wait for it to become a little bit tacky and I go straight in with a moisturizer. And this is the moisturizer that I'm using, the 5% dexpanthenol cream that is unfortunately only available in Serbia. But anyways, when I perform the touching test, all I can say is that this is the best hyaluronic acid serum that I have ever tried because nothing makes my skin so well nourished, moisturized, and hydrated. Well done, Ladosh. Well done. Okay, now let me give you my final verdict on this serum. Is this the best hyaluronic acid serum that I have ever tried? Yes. Yes, this is by far the best hyaluronic acid serum that I have tried so far, and I have tried a few. Yes, it does have fragrance, but it wasn't a deal breaker for me. And yes, it does have alcohol, and guess what? I actually like that it has alcohol. I think that alcohol is contributing to a better effect on the skin, actually. So yeah, my final verdict is I love this serum. This is the best hyaluronic acid serum that I have tried so far, and I really love the effect on the skin. Nothing makes my skin so hydrated and so well-nourished. I don't know. I really, I really love this serum. So yeah, I can recommend it in case you're not sensitive to fragrance, of course. The only con is that it doesn't have fragrance. Maybe they could have skipped that so more people could use it. Luckily for me, I was able to use it even though it does have fragrance. Fragrance wasn't a deal breaker for me, but it might be for many people. So yeah, I have to mention that. So maybe Larash Pussy could come up with a version without fragrance so that people with sensitive skin could use it. Maybe, yeah, that's one con that I have to mention and emphasize here. So yeah, if you're sensitive, be warned. But if not, if you can handle a little bit of fragrance, I, I totally recommend that you try out this serum and you will not, I repeat, you will not regret it. It's totally worth 30 bucks. Yeah, it, uh, there you go. I said it, it's worth, it's worth 30 bucks. So yeah, there you go. That would be my final verdict on this serum. Let me know if you decide to try it out. Leave a comment down below. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.